opponent blind swaps into a Jellicent. Goodbye, Jellicent. Goodbye. You blind swapped into the wrong Pokemon, my friend. You're dead now. He's actually going for the X Scissor. I probably would have gone for the close combat there, but hey, I wasn't counting the Powder Snows. X Scissor. Dude, that's not even legal. Lantern is a very thick fish. Doesn't KO. Oh no. Going for back to back close combats here. This is bad. Uh, this is bad. So close combat is going to be taken it out and the Dusclops comes back in. Can he get to the X Scissor? Come on. He gets there. Farms him down. In comes a Surf Fetched. Goodbye, Surf Fetched. <laughs> No, sir, sir Fetch, no, you can't come in, no, no, not with any shields, no, not with, not without shields. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Randy Savage, the Macho Man, and look, you got three minutes of pain, little man, I'm gonna put you on the ground, I'm gonna break your bones and turn your bones into forks, and then use the forks to eat your body. Please don't demonetize me, I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey. It's me, Shrady. You thought I was Randy Savage the whole time. That's right. Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is actually Shrady, and uh, we're going to be talking about Pokemon Go Battle League stuff today, as per usual. Uh, before we get into the video, I want to let you all know that I should be streaming today. I might be live right now, so if you want to go and check that out, uh, check my homepage. I should be streaming probably around 11 a.m. most likely if not 12 p.m. so go and check it out i'll be playing some go battle league and then i will be playing a horror game after i do some sets and also i wanted to let you guys know that i will have a merch site set up very very soon we have the designs in process uh, i have the site all set up but we just need to make sure that the, the designs are you know where we want them to be i want to give a huge shout out to zaplatinsky zaplatinsky is an awesome awesome guy uh he designed both of my logos for this channel as well as the gaming channel he designed uh the the merch idea that we have by the way the merch idea is as on bomberill which i'm pretty sure y'all are gonna like and uh eventually we should have some nice sack bro merch as well so stay tuned uh, i will be dropping a link to that in the description of my videos as soon as it goes live and i will let you know when it goes live i'll, I'll make a post on my twitter which you know if you haven't followed me on twitter ba -boop, ba -beep, ba -ba -ba -boop, and uh i'll be making a post on my community tab as well all right so now that i got all of the plugs out of the way Let's see what we're going to be talking about today. You know what? Let's just go over to the featured Pokemon screen. I don't even know what we're doing, but I have a strong guess that has to do with something other than BBML. Boop, boop. That's right. It's the spice. As Boygo says, the spice is nice, and he is not wrong. The spice is always nice. Look at this team. It's not my team, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm very jealous that this person came up with this team. Uh, so these battles were submitted to me by Bingo Blast. So shout out to Bingo Blast. These, uh, it, this team looks awesome. It really, really does. Look at this: a shiny Shadow Pincer, a shiny Dragonite, and Perugly. Who would even think to run something as crazy as this? I don't know, but this guy has massive respect. Uh, has my massive respect here. So let's take a look at his team. He's got Shiny, Shadow, Pinsir in the lead with Fury Cutter, Close Combat, and X Skizzer. And then he has Perugly with Shahado Claw, Aerial, A Kiss, Aerial, Axe, and Tahunder. And then he's got Dragonite, Shadow Dragonite. In fact, in the back with Dragon, Braheth, Tathus. Dra Dragon Briat, uh, Herkane, and Dragon Claw. I think I did all those right this time. That's the first time I've actually been able to pronounce all the, the words properly. Pretty sure I did them all right. So, uh, shout out to Bingo Blast once again. Let's take a look. These are in the Retro Cup, if I have not mentioned that, which I'm pretty sure I have not. He is sitting in expert rank, going up against Super Lee 72. All right, so let's see. <laughs> I am excited to see this one. Okay, picking up a... <laughs> Some sort of lead up against the Galvantula. I'm assuming it's probably negative because Shiny Shadow Pinsir is very glassy and Galvantula is going to hit really hard. It seems like he does outpace though, so that's pretty good. Going to be shielding up this lunge. This lunge would probably take him out. Uh, <laughs> it is going to be debuffing his attack. He's going to be going for the X Scissor here. X Scissor doesn't do that much damage, but it is a Shadow Pinsir. Okay, he gets both shields early. I think that's really good. Oh, he was very close to getting to another X Scissor, but wasn't able to get there. Now he's going to be coming in with the Perugly, and the opponent blind swaps into a Jellicent. Goodbye, Jellicent. Goodbye. You blind swapped into the wrong Pokemon, my friend. You're dead now. 
Uh, that's hilarious. And the Galvantula is going to come back in to throw a lunge. He can probably tank this. From what I've seen, Perugly is not like super duper glassy. And can't get to the Aerial Ace. Probably. Okay, he's going to shield this. Um, that also makes sense. Now he's going to be switching into the Dragonite and sniping that thing out of existence. The Drift Blim is going to be coming in and he will be able to get to the Dragon Claw before they get to an Icy Wind. Uh, this Dragon Claw is going to be doing massive damage. There it is. Ba boop, ba bing, ba biddly bop. Look at those Dragon Breaths. This is absolutely crazy. So Icy Wind is definitely going to be taking him out, but I think he has an Aerial Ace loaded. He has a Thunder loaded. You know what? That's going to be good. I think a, I think a Thunder will do it. Goodbye, Drift Blim. Oh my lord. Okay, we're good. Into the next battle, going up against the real John Wick. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's how John Wick's name is actually spelled. The real John Wick. That movie is based on a real person. And here he is. He's running Corsalia. Okay, picking up a positive lead. I'm assuming this is positive. He's doing super effective damage with the bug type attacks. And he's going to take resisted damage from the grass knot. So the enemy... Oh my, that X scissor did like... Holy crap. Uh, so... If this is a Moonblast, it'll probably take him out. Okay, so he shields up the Moonblast. Very good shield. And the opponent switches into an Alolan Marowak. He's going to be coming in with a Perugly here. And uh, this is where normal types in this cup are going to do so well. Specifically, normal types that have ghost type attacks because they are very hard counters to ghosts. Look at this. He's doing super effective damage. The opponent is forced to go for uh, Bone Clubs here, which Bone Club is one of the crappiest moves in the game. And he's doing super effective damage with the Shadow Claw. He's going to be going for the Aerial Ace here. In case they shield, this is a good shield baiting opportunity. Perugly doesn't have much for shield baiting. Going for the next Aerial Ace, he is going to go down to Fire Spin. So it looks like Perugly is a little less uh, tanky than I expected it to be. He gets both shields, though. That's really good. Gets both shields. Now he can come in with the Dragonite here. Dragonite's going to be able to resist uh, everything except for the Shadow bone and the opponent is getting close to a shadow bone so he's gonna probably have to shield this um or call it okay shields i was gonna say i don't think they're gonna bait because they're almost dead oh the opponent gets the defense drop unfortunately this is hopefully a bone club double resisted bone club okay thank god because he uh yeah he would probably go down to a shadow bone after his defense fell and there's an obama snow in the back okay can he take out the Cresselia and the Abomasno? I think he can, actually. I really do. He's going to be going for the x or This is going to be taking out the Cresselia. And with Fury Cutter, Pinter can get to charge moves very quick. He's actually going for the x -Scissor. I probably would have gone for the close combat there. But hey, I wasn't counting the Powder Snows. x -Scissor. Dude, that's not even legal. That was an x -Scissor. The x -Scissor looked like a close combat. Should not be legal. My absolute lord going up into the next battle going against kundan kumar i probably said that wrong i very i'm very sorry oh i forgot my my socials are gone let me turn my socials back on all right picking up a negative lead here gonna be switching into the perugly uh fortunately dragonite has a sort of decent matchup up against drift Blim, so the opponent returns the favor with a swamp pierre and uh pierre over here Probably going to do pretty well up against Per Ugly, uh, just because it's going to spam out Hydro Cannons. And it's anything that takes neutral from Hydro Cannon isn't really a fan of Swampert. You know what I mean? So going for the Aerial Ace, this next one is probably going to land because the opponent's going to know it's an Aerial Ace. No reason to shield it. And that's fine. And it's actually a CMP tie. And Per Ugly wins the CMP tie. Maybe. I don't know. It could have been a false CMP tie. But he's going to let that go. And now he's probably going to be coming back in with the Pincer because Pincer needs to get some kind of use in this team. It's not. It's going to do absolutely nothing up against Drift Blim. Oh, he's actually coming in with a Dragon dragonite to farm down okay that's also a play uh if they come back in with the drift blim then that's really good because his dragonite is going to be his best response to that drift blim yeah good 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 so he's definitely going to be double shielding if the opponent wants to shield this dragon claw here which they probably will uh because yeah they they need to they know their drift blim is going to do very well against pincer because x's are in close combat are both double resisted so uh or close combat is triple resisted even so uh, he will be able to get to this next Dragon Claw before they get to another Icy Wind. And I think this should take him out even with the debuff. Let's see. It does. Dragonite's crazy. And the last Pokemon is in Alolan Marowak. And he's just going to shield. And does he go for the Hurricane? This is a Bone Club. This is 100% a Bone Club. But hey, I, mean, I wasn't counting. So it might have been. I, I don't know. It seemed like a Bone Club. And going for the... Ooh! Sack Swap. Nice Sack! Bro, is it Bone Club? Because I'm going to laugh if they went for Bone Club. Dude, it's double resisted on Dragonite. That wouldn't have even... It wouldn't have done it. Wouldn't have done it, okay? Wouldn't have done it. Unfortunately, x Scissor and Close Combat are both double resisted here. But hey, he can do enough damage. He has a charge move loaded on the Dragonite. And Dragonite's going to win that CMP tie. So no big dealio. In comes the Dragonite. 
out goes the Alolan Marowak. Get spiced on, young man. Get spiced on. All right, into the next battle here. As you can tell, I might be, uh, it seems like I'm in a better mood today, and that's because after hitting Legend, uh, a lot of pressure is off of my shoulders, and uh, I'm, I'm back, I'm back into having fun with the game. I dropped like 200 ELO today, and I don't even care. It doesn't matter. I don't care that I dropped ELO. Okay, didn't see what happened. Looks like a Combuskin. That's an interesting pick. So he's going to safe swap into his Progly, and the opponent comes in with an Obama Snow, not knowing that Obama Snow is going to take super effect. Well, it's not knowing that Progly has access to Aerial Ace, which why would you? I mean, I know, but hey, it's basically my job to know that. So uh, Weather Ball is going to be coming through. That's not going to take him out. He's going to be able to go for another Aerial Ace here. I expect the opponent to shield and probably farm down. That's my guess, but nope, they let it go. Put it in the montage, I guess. Who knows? Combuskin's going to come in and farm down with some Ember. Uh, Combuskin's definitely an interesting pick. He's probably going to be coming in with a Dragonite because Dragonite's going to resist everything coming out of Combuskin. You do have to watch out. It does have Rock Slide, though. It's got Rock Slide. It's got Rock Slide. Okay, shield it. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. You got to be careful. Uh, the only reason I know that is because I got a battle submission one time uh, from the Foxoraptor, and he uh, he was featuring Combuskin in those battles. Okay, so shielding up the Combuskin, they must have enough for another Rock Slide here. So does he double shield? I probably would double shield this. It's actually a Flame Charge. I think Flame Charge has a heavier energy cost, so I'm not sure why they went for that. Either way, the last Pokemon is a Gyarados running Waterfall, interestingly enough. You don't see too many Fire types, so I'm not sure what's up with the Waterfall. Uh, so he's going to be coming in with the Pinsir, and this Pinsir is going to be forcing the Gyarados to throw an Aqua Tail here. Does it KO? It does. So now he's going to be coming back in with the Dragonite. Those Waterfalls are resisted, but they're doing a lot because Shadow Dragonite is insanely glassy in the Great League. This Dragon Claw is going to be taking out the Gyarados, and that Combuskin comes in to instantly disintegrate, and uh, Dragonite is going to take that win for sure. So honestly, uh, Shadow Dragonite... Shadow Dragonite is looking... Uh, pretty strong as a closer if i do say so myself i've run into a few of them but not that many uh you gotta watch out when, when even with shields up that's the thing shadow dragonite with that dragon breath is gonna absolutely destroy things picking up a very negative lead here doing resisted damage in fact uh single resisted with the x scissor double resisted with the close combat uh so he's gonna be staying in here i think i'd probably switch right into the dragonite that would be my best bet uh, but he's gonna stay in here and I think I'd let this go whatever it is Hopefully it's a bubble beam, but no, it's a shadow ball. That's fine Now he can come in with a per ugly and if the opponent stays in here That's really good because uh, all they can really do is either bubble beam or ice beam and either one's not gonna do that much Ice beam might hurt a little bit. Let's see if it's a bubble beam. It is an ice beam So there you go, but he's gonna be able to farm down the opponent comes in with a whiz cash Okay, this is a perfect opportunity to see exactly how much damage these dragon breaths do whiz cash is a very tanky mud boy and look at these dragon breaths adding up so so, so quickly so he's gonna be coming in here and uh i might even let this go because okay he's gonna shield it i was gonna say because uh because the pearl ugly can farm i don't know maybe it's smart to all right he's gonna let this second one come through i don't is this a blizzard it's just another mud bomb i think if you're gonna bait the mud bomb then you'll want to go for the blizzard afterwards maybe they couldn't get there because that dragon breath damage is pretty oppressive okay so there is a uh an altaria in the back which is a big problem big problemo is what i'm trying to say here does he win this? How does he win this? This is not possible. Oh, that's why. He's got a ton of energy here on the Perugly. So he can shield this up. Go for back-to-back -back aerial aces. I don't think an aerial ace is going to do it, though. He's probably going to have to go for an aerial ace bait. And then go for a thunder. I think that's probably the play here because aerial ace is just not going to cut it in this situation. As, yeah, he's going to go for the thunder. Okay, very nice. This might take it out. Thunder is a pretty good move. Does a lot of damage. It does take it out, and now the Jellicent can come in and get farmed down there. So very nice, because Jellicent is doing double resisted damage with those hexes. That's why these normal types are so dangerous in this cup. If you line them up against a ghost, ba-boom, ba-bing, ghost go dead. Okay, I might be playing these out of order, which is my bad. That is not the fault of uh, Bingo Blast here, but I wanted to keep... Uh, Keep some of the good ones in the back, you know what I mean? I want to re I want to reward people for staying to the end of the video. All right, into the next battle, picking up a horrible lead. What do you do here? I got yeah, I guess you got two responses to to uh, this guy in the back going into the Dragonite this time, and the opponent comes in with a Metacham. His Metacham must be running Ice Punch. That's the only reason I can see why anyone would come in with a Metacham because uh, Dragonite's going to resist all the Fighting type attacks. So let's see if this Meta. Okay, they're they're most likely running Ice Punch. This is five five. Takes five to get to a power punch. Oh, they're running power up punch. 
And they have Power Punch and Ice Punch, because I think that's unnecessary. If you have Power Punch and Ice Punch, go straight Ice Punch. There's no reason to go for Power Punch there. All right. So the opponent is double shielding. Do you call this as a Power Punch? I think if he does, he's, he's going to go down. Okay, it is an Ice Punch, so unfortunately... I still, Metacham, don't do that. Just go straight Ice Punch. There's no reason to go Power Punch there. Uh, it takes the same amount of energy. All right, coming back in with the Pinsir here. Pinsir is going to be resisting uh, the fighting type attacks. Uh, bug and Fighting are the only typings that actually resist each other. Uh, but Metacham takes neutral from Bug because of that partial uh, psychic typing. All right, so unfortunately, the last Pokemon on the opponent's team is a Vigoroth, and this one looks like Hard Counter City. GG's the switch, switch, uh, switch Advantage, or what am I trying to say? Uh, whatever. Winning switch was very, very important in this match here. So, going to be going for the Thunder and that lands, but unfortunately he gets farmed down with the counters, and now there's basically nothing he can do here. Probably just going to, I mean, he can shield this in attempt, but I don't know if there's really much he can do. Don't think it's possible. So, probably have to go for the X-Scissor here because the Vigoroth will get to another move. Vigoroth also very spammy. Uh, it only takes um, 5 to get to a Body Slam. Marowak comes in, and yeah, th this is also a Hex Alolan Marowak, I should say. So, they're definitely going to be getting to Shadow Bones very quickly. So, Pinsir's going to go down, unfortunately. GG to the opponent in that battle. Alright, into the next battle. Picking up more rewards. Going up to, I don't know. Continue the joke on your own. All right, going up against Prime OW. He's going up against an actual robot. So this is going to be a tough battle because he's going up against a... This is this is the algorithm in avatar form. Okay, so picking up a negative lead, and he does a very, very nice sack swap onto his Perugly to catch this Shadow Punch. That's double resisted, my friend. The opponent comes in. Look at the spice on this man. This man's running some spice, too. Coming in with a Shadow Gliscor. Okay. So Shadow Gliscor probably is going to do well here because uh, Thunder is like Perugly's best source of damage. Uh, Aerial Ace sucks. And Thunder's resisted. Uh, resisted because Gliscor is a ground and a flying type. Flying takes super effective from electric, but ground double resists electric. So it's single resisted. Uh, going to be shielding up this next Night Slash. The opponent actually shielded the Aerial Ace, which is pretty surprising to me. And they're also running uh, Fury Cutter. Again, pr pretty interesting to me. I think uh, Wing Attack's a pretty good move, but hey. You do what you want to do when you're running Spice. That's the good thing about running Spice is that, uh, you know, you can run unconventional movesets and throw your opponents off guard. He actually takes it out with the Aerial Ace. Didn't think it would do enough, but he's able to win switch and get both shields. That was huge. That was huge. Dustclops comes back in. This opponent has no idea what to do about a normal type running a ghost move. What? Normal type running a ghost move, it's almost like this is the Retro Cup or something. Alright, coming in with the Dragonite here, he does have to watch out because this Dusclops is going to get to Ice Punches very quickly. Uh, so I might even attempt to catch here. Oof, okay, yeah. It only takes three. I'm pretty sure it only takes three Hexes. You got to watch out when you go up against this guy. Yeah, and that's double super effective. And the last Pokemon is a Lantern. Win condition spotted. Wait, is this close combat KO? I mean, Lantern is a very thick fish. Doesn't KO. Oh no. Going for back to back close combats here. This is bad. Uh, this is bad. So close combat is going to be taking it out. And the Dust Clops comes back in. Can he get to the X Scissor? Come on. He gets there. He gets there. Even with the four times defense debuff because of those two close combats, able to survive the Hexes for long enough to take out the Dust Clops. That was insane. That was a good one. That was a real good one. Eight. All right. We got three more. Three more battles. Going up against the Credilly Ruler. You better have Credilly on your team, my friend. Because uh, if you don't, then you need to change your name ASAP. Alright, picking up a negative lead once again. Let's see how he plays it. Switching into the Perugly. I think in, the, I think in this case, I might even switch into the Dragonite. Because Dragonite, like I said, has a pretty good matchup. Even though Icy Wind KOs. Uh, because it's just the Dragon Breath is so nuts. Uh, and then, yeah, and then you can hope to align the Perugly with the Drift Blim later. Because uh, Perugly is a better counter to Drift Blim than Dragonite is. So, switching into your soft counter. But hey, it works too. He's baiting out a Snorlax. He's going straight Thunder. Uh, the Drift Blim did debuff him, debuff him before switching out. Probably just to ensure switch advantage here. So, uh, going, for back, or going for Thunders. This Snorlax has, like, probably uh, two Body Slams at this point. So... That's outrageous. Why? That's actually outrageous. Uh, I got a DM from one of my patrons, Grizzinator, and he said he was running Outrage on his Snorlax, and no, uh, none of the dragons he went up against were shielding it because they all expected body slams or whatever. Smart. That's, uh, that's some 3000 IQ thinking right there. Okay, so there is a Lapras in the back. 
Uh, is there a way to play around this? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think the opponent knew. They knew that he was going to switch into the pincer here. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. Nothing he can do. This one's uh, pincer can do absolutely zero things up against Drift Blim. Uh, well, apparently it can get a shield because the opponent has no idea what moveset it has. But uh, yeah, you don't need to shield anything coming out of pincer. Everything is either double or triple resisted. If I was the opponent, I wouldn't have even thrown a charge move. I would have just farmed up to 100 energy, maybe thrown a charge move, and then farmed up to... Yeah, it's, yeah he double did. It. It's, it's over. It's over. Nothing he can do. He's going to get double debuffed here, and then he's just going to die to a Lapras. Literally zero win condition. Absolutely nothing he can do. Yeah. Maybe if he farms down and lands a hurricane, that's probably it. That's just even in double debuff, that, that wouldn't do it. Yeah, he's, he's dead. That's okay. That was battle nine. All right, we got two more battles. Let's see how he does in this next one. Going up against Dr. Nemo, 8282. Uh, little fish Nemo grew up and turned into a doctor. Whoa, it's crazy. Okay. So yeah, his parents must be so proud. Isn't his mom dead or something like that? I don't know. Wait, wait. wait. I thought I thought his mom was dead. I, I don't remember. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a big oof on uh, little Nemo's part. But hey, he used his uh, pain to his advantage. He used his pain to to become a doctor somehow. All right. No idea what I'm talking about. Rambling about nothing. He gets a shield with the close combat. Gets another shield with the dragon claw. This Vigoroth is floundering floundering i don't know a word he's, he's doing something uh so he gets both shields and then he uh takes shield advantage here and probably going to come in and farm i can you could farm down with either one but i think the pincer is a safer bet because you're going to resist the counters uh probably could shield one of these i think uh i think it's probably worth the shield because pincer is so glassy this is a glass cannon team right here this is a glass cannon team okay so next body slam coming through does he shield the next one he does shield the next one going to be farming down with these fury cutters if the opponent lets him Farms him down. In comes a Surf Fetched. Goodbye, Surf Fetched. <laughs> no, sir, Surf Fetched. No, you can't come in. No, no, not with any shields. No, not with, not without shields. All right, and the last Pokemon, like we saw in the beginning, is a Hypno, and he's going to be coming in here and thundering the crap out of this Hypno. That's another good thing about these normal types is they also counter Psychic types. Very, very nice. In comes a, some kind of punch. Doesn't really matter. It's not going to KO. He's going to farm down. And the opponent sees the writing on the wall and quits out. Into the last battle. Going up against... Fraramoche. 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 Okay, picking up uh, negatively. Very negatively. Going to be taking super effective damage from the... Okay, Rock Blast and Stone Edge. I was going to see if it was Rock Throw or Volt Switch. Uh, so he's going to be going for the x scissor here. Now, the opponent probably shields, right? Yeah, I was going to say, they don't know what this pincer is going to do. And with Fury Cutter, you get to those charge moves very quickly. So you could shield this, as it is definitely going to be a Rock Blast, because Rock Blast is probably going to take out a pincer, to be honest. Now he's going for the next x scissor. I don't think the opponent shields the second one, to be honest, because after they know it's an x scissor. Okay, what the hell do I know? What well, Put it in the montage, I guess. I'd probably let this go and farm down with the... Uh, probably either one. Either one. Uh, Dragonite's gonna d could take a lot of damage from the Volt Switches, but you'll have a lot of energy coming out of this matchup. Okay, he does decide to go in with the Dragonite. Pretty much just shield one of these Rock Blasts. Okay, he actually decides to go for the Dragon Claw and win the CMP tie over the Alolan Graveler. This is also a play, and uh, that way he has shield advantage, and the opponent comes in with a Zangoose. Okay, this is fine. He can take it out with, uh, yeah, you just shield the Night Slash here. Uh, you gotta watch out. They're probably gonna catch. Uh, most of the time when people are running Zangoose, they wanna keep the Zangoose as a closer and okay they decide to stay in which uh interesting interesting uh but that's fine he's gonna be taking out the zangoose here what's in the back talon flame okay gotta switch out oh okay going for the dragon claw this is okay this also works uh but he's probably gonna get flame charged or brave birded on the uh on the perugly here before he can get to a charge move and they have to brave bird they actually have to i don't think a flame charge does it Okay, they Brave Bird, and he probably farm. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, the Incinerate animation is so long that Dragonite was just like, Incinerate? What the hell is that? 
All right, so thank you, Bingo Blast, for the battle submission. If you guys have something cool to show me, something crazy or spicy or what have you, go down to the description and there's a link down there called the Battle Submission Form. Give it a click. Make sure you fill out all of the forms so I can feature your battles. I would very much appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate it if you leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe. You made it this far. You must have enjoyed something in the video. I would very much appreciate it if you did. But hey, watch a couple more videos before you decide. I don't care. Uh, so thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep an eye out for the Azon Bomberill slash Nice Sack Bro merch, because it will be coming soon. All right, guys, take it easy. Shout out to my patrons, Billy Bravebird, Running Froggy, The North Star, Cleric, Doug J. Dempsey, Ryan Borowski, Steve, DJ Mimsy, Clapton Caveman, King Edward, NC Tech Freak, Silver and Fortuna, Austin Gustavik, Darkstone, Moach, Mr. Cookout, Brandon, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Bryant Dixon, Mutsukata, Kit Gulek, Edward O'Neill, Senor Stacks, Grizzinator, Winterfang, Lord of Yazan Bombrail, Daniel Timms, and Ray Rafik.